Welcome to Steelers TV, game two of the Champions Hockey League campaign for the Sheffield Steelers. You'll be able to join Seth Bennett and myself live on BBC Radio Sheffield at 2.45 for this game. Seth, are we expecting more heroics from the Steelers like we saw in the first two periods, or is it going to be a long third? Well, you're hoping that the Sheffield Steelers are going to be able to do what they did through those first two periods, and the lesson they learnt was a, a very pointed one, wasn't it? And it was a painful one in Sweden. You've got to play for 60 minutes. And the Steelers, I think, are in good spirits. Over the last 24 hours, we've seen them go from uh, lower than a snake's belly to right now being in a good place. They seem pretty confident. And so today is all about how they play defensively. It's all about being disciplined and staying out of that penalty box. Good news for the Sheffield Steelers. As Jason Hewitt said to me this morning, I've got your headline, Simsy. Colton is feeling fretter. <laughs> and uh, he's in the lineup. He skated this morning. It's good to have a fit Colton Fretter who can create because we need that creative. Uh, and that's going to be the other key here. The Sheffield Steelers just about got into double digits in shots against Frölunda. They need to get closer to 20 if they're going to score enough goals to be able to cause some problems in this game. The better news, though, I've been out and looked at the ice and the plexiglass is at least six feet above the top of the boards, so we might be able to keep the puck in play. <laughs> Live on BBC Radio Sheffield from 2.45. If you want to know how you can join us, Seth's about to give you all the technical stuff. AM 10.35, digital radio and online. We'll bring you as much reaction as we can afterwards. It's Steelers Hockey on a Saturday afternoon. See you then. Paul, just give us an idea of the mood in the camp after arriving here from Gothenburg. Positive, Seth. Uh, really positive. I mean, obviously after the game, a couple of days ago, you know, we had an early start where we, we were all up at five and, we, you know, we got the bus for six and it was fresh. And, you know, we were, uh, I think we were disappointed. But, you know, we've had to, myself, Daryl, everybody around the team, have got to get back to, to the positives for 40 minutes. We all knew what we did and we, we competed against a fantastic hockey club and uh, we let ourselves down. We know that in the third period. And there are reasons for that, for where we are at the stage of the season, where we are in our training camp, if you like. I know we're in a serious competition, but you know, a week and a half into, you know, hitting ice as a team together and, you know, we've got a, a brand new team coming in there. You, you have to look at the reasons why. And, and, and you know, we, we, we took some bad penalties and, and, we, and fatigue played a part in some of the penalties. And, and then, you know, the head went a little bit for a while and, and a team like for London take over. But we're not going to get any respite tonight either. How good is this team? Very good. Very good. Uh, I mean, I watched pre-game skate this morning. I mean, they got some good size. Mm -hmm. Really good size. Uh, like all Scandinavian teams, they'll skate very well. They'll be in fantastic shape because you have your team 12 months of the year, pretty much. You know, apart from the odd import that comes in, and uh, so, and and notoriously, the Finnish teams are probably a little more physical. Uh, so they'll get on the body. There'll be a lot more contact, I think, today physically.